My name's Rod, and this is gonna be my first video. So, why do I wanna do this? Honestly, I first got into this sort of stuff, ASMR, back when I was, I wanna say, 13 years old. I had just got my first laptop, and I couldn't really sleep. Well, I was in Chicago at the time, and then suddenly, I had an idea to, to Look, I always had to fall asleep. And I came across this video. I believe it was called Power Sleep Session. So Power Sleep Session. I have I tried to find the video before and I haven't I've seen it once, like once or twice. But like that was like I wanna say 2013, 2014 max. No, 2013. So when I first watched this video, honestly I almost just knocked out right there. Like, I just almost fell asleep on a beanbag chair with a laptop all over my legs. And that's basically how I got started. So, yeah, that's, that's it. Not the, like, it's, it's a story like a bunch of other people's. You can't sleep. One, somehow, one day, you, you found the video, you found a video, and you've been watching it ever since. Truthfully, I haven't. So after that, I was into ASMR for like a little bit, I want to say around a year. I got really into this OG channel called Gentle Whispering. Maria, like, I think it was, she was teaching a, a, like a Russian language video. It was, it was, um, at, a, at the time, or compared to today's standards, really low fi pretty low quality. But back then, it was actually amazing. She really set the standard for what you can do with ASMR and how you can always branch off into different things. Nowadays, she's so extremely successful. I remember seeing uh, last year, she got a Tesla or something like that. But basically, yeah, she went from a small YouTube channel with a very niche following to, I was, to like over 2 million subscribers, I believe. She, she definitely made a lot of money, that's for sure. But that is besides the point. So as, as you can probably tell, this is a very lo-fi video. And now why is there a cup of water in front of me? Well, of course. So what I want to do with this channel is review different types of drinks. Um, maybe different types of food. And a whole bunch of other stuff, honestly. Whatever floats my boat at the moment. So of course, why not start off with something like water? The drink of life, you know. It's where we came from. We went from a, like a little ba little bacteria, to little fish, to a big fish. Walked out of the out of the ocean, out of the water, walked on land, and I've been drinking water ever since. Honestly, I'm a big water fan. Like if it's room temperature, I hate it. Warm water I hate to drink, of course, but it's a it's an ice cold water that I love. Honestly, I don't have any ice cubes or any ice cube trays, so it's just gonna be, it's just just regular um filtered water. Cause recently I got a Brita filter, and uh, and I've been loving it. Makes that water taste extra crisp and extra delicious, especially since it's been in the freezer and or fridge and filtered. So. Of course, that's why I have got this nice glass of water. And now, time to drink. So, I consider myself to be a water connoisseur. I live in Toronto, and I set my, set my standards like, pretty high because we have really good water quality however not all places are the same like at my at my place in my apartment i would say that the water quality i would give everything like an overall uh i want to say seven seven and a half going to an eight it's the base standard for me i guess what i'm used to and so in temperature in terms of temperature, 
it can go from really hot to really cold. So, for that, I would give it a solid 8 in terms of taste. Again, I'm used to it, so I'm setting it. It's base standard. It is pretty high. So, also, let me give it a 7. In terms of mouthfeel, it's a solid 8. Eight and a half. Oh, but ice in the morning. In the morning. Oh, that water is just atrocious. For some reason, I don't know why. It's definitely something to do with the pipes. The water comes out cloudy. It's fucking disgusting. Like I, just, like on I just have to let the, the water run for like five, like two, three, five minutes straight in order to get the cloudiness out. It's definitely something about the pipes, probably some calcium buildup. My guess is like, cause it, I don't know, cause I don't know how filtration works that much. But in the mornings, it, the water is always warm, and whenever you you heat up uh, water, like um, the pipes, like whatever is like um, in the pipes, that's like calcium. That kind of seeps into the water, and I'm guessing that's what would gives it the murky, the cloudy color. As long as, in all honesty, as long as I don't have to look at it, I'm fine. But if I feel like there's some like chem like uh, not chemicals, but minerals in the water, like if I could feel like the little specks in the water, I'm done. And that's a big note for me. I just throw it out and get some more water, which I know seems wasteful. But I usually just give it to the plants or something. Because I, I really care about the environment and. A water quality I think the thing is you have evolved a, a lot of as humans so we should be experts at having pristine water quality of course corporations cheap out things don't get fixed like in my building it's a pretty old building so the pipes are I'm, I'm guessing pretty old and they haven't been fixed since the 80s because that's when the this building was constructed so where am I going with this? I don't know. I, I like to ramble a lot. Oh, I just noticed you can see my reflection in the mirror. Or in the background. The desk. And yes, I have glasses. I don't know why that matters, but it does. So yeah, pretty... Oh, we're gonna center it. That's the baseline for everything. Water. So that's why I chose to start it off. Next week, or like next time, I'll definitely try to like bring juice. You know, or work our way up, boys. Or work our way up. Juice. Smoothies. Tea. Maybe alcohol. Like, I, lo I love whiskey. And I love uh, rum. Especially spiced rum. But the thing is, I want to try boba. Because... Usually, I hate fucking, I actually do, just hate boba. It's boba milk in general. If I see it has milk in it, hell no. Like milk, like just milk in general just disgusts me. It makes me wretch, makes me want to vomit. Which I know is not something that you want to hear, but. Nah, man. I can't, I don't, I don't mess with milk. But I'm willing to take the bullet for, for some boba tea. Because I know they make a whole variety of stuff. So yeah, that's it, I guess. Um, also, you will never hear my mouth sounds. I hate mouth sounds. It makes me cringe. Like, honestly, just cr it's cringy as hell. Like, hella, hella cringe. But, you know, whatever. We'll see what happens. I'll do some review stuff as well. Do some sound, like, uh, you know, Something I like really like it's on for me. It's like these finger sounds, fingers fluttering, hand sound, you know. That's the good shit. Ah, fucking crisp, juicy, delicious. And water is wet, you know. Water is wet. It gets the wet too. Overall, its property is wetness, you know. Splash someone with it, they become wet. Jumping it. It becomes wet, you know. It's just wetness, because, you know, 
water. But hey, that, that, is an, that is a philosophical dilemma for another, another time. All, but yeah, that is my first video. It's my cards of 10 minutes. Well, you know, need that ad revenue. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching if you found it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.